How you doing guys? Professor EDC with another Blade Dosophy Sunday and today, today we are going to talk about zero tolerance. But not this type of zero tolerance. This is uh, just to um, a reference point. Zero tolerance in, in many cases uh, means in a positive way, perhaps, we can think of zero tolerance in, in matters of mistakes, in making mistakes, which is absurd because mistakes will be made. Zero tolerance um, to injustice, again, what is justice? The definition of it falls under different categories internationally. So it is bound to um, have mistakes. But when we talk about zero tolerance, having a per personally zero tolerance is where I think we are standing on. If we look around, at least when I observe, when I uh, look around, and um, whether we are driving or walking, um, whether we are watching um, a video and reading the comments, whether we are commenting the news, the situation globally, we can see, we can hear, and we can read this zero tolerance that is that has infected the world. And that having zero tolerance leads to many times leads to an aggression, many times leads to violence. Zero tolerance is the opposite of understanding, of comprehension, of a working um, organic process. Having zero tolerance in that sense is really gonna take us nowhere. Zero tolerance with uh, our kids or as a, as a professor, as a teacher, with uh, students in general, having zero tolerance with students, that's being illogical. As a professor, as a teacher, I gotta be understanding of um, each individual's situation. That's just uh, what I think um, or how I have tried to lead my life. There's a bit of dust here. And don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm just full of mistakes and I'm very um, intolerable to various things, particularly, for example, to ignorance. And, and if I'm in, uh, if I can't, if I have zero tolerance, if I'm um, intolerable to ignorance, that means also to my ignorance, starting there, and people's ignorance. And being, um, I don't remember if, if it's uh, intolerable or intolerable or, well, anyway. But um, being intolerable to ignorance makes me close a window, may, makes me close the door to dialogue and to the understanding of the person in front of me. When I apply that to myself, 
being intolerable to ignorance, to my ignorance, that just makes me be harsh with myself. Now, one thing is uh, being a disciplined person and, and fulfilling my duties and my responsibilities. But another thing is being uh, going beyond and uh, not understanding my situation, not understanding, for example, if, if you go through a, a divorce or, or, or a difficult situation with your with your uh, significant other and um, it is important to understand where you are standing because it is very probable that you are not going to respond nor react to different things to a given situation in a better place as if you were in a better place, as if you hadn't had that confrontation, that uh, the death of a, of a close person, the, the, the breaking up of a relationship, um, having an, a, an accident, a car accident, right? And, and so you are, um, you are affected by the situation. And so, that is what I refer to as uh, being comprehensive of yourself, but being compre comprehensive of others as well. What we are seeing uh, in the world is um, sometimes uncomprehensible. And um, I admit it, it's, it's very difficult. But let's remember, this is not a football game. This is not a baseball game, a soccer game. This is real life. So taking sides is not the most appropriate thing to do in my point of view. The most appropriate thing to do is to be informed. Again, I repeat that. To consider both sides. If there's a third side, a third side. If there's four, four, and so on. But for us to take a side, that's going to close the window of reason and um, of tolerance and patience and I don't think that uh, that's where we want to go that's not the path that we want to walk we all want peace don't we it would be ridiculous if, if there was a person in the world who, who would really want war we all I think at least all love uh, enjoying a cup of coffee with our families, uh, watching the, the dogs play and uh, the kids run around and, and being at peace with our uh, significant other and, and family, you know? That's why we cherish so much Christmas and special reunions, because we cherish those values, those emotions, those principles. And we are losing that. So who's going to lose the war? The people. We have already lost. Why? Because we've lost the truth. One of the most important things that we um, have fought for in the past. We have lost the truth. If you watch the news, I don't care what channel you watch, um, the, what source of information you watch, most of it, like many, many say, um, many experts mention, 90% it's adulterated, it's um, propaganda, whether it's one side or the other. 
And that's very, very hard to see, at least for me. We've lost the truth. And um, that's the first loss and the biggest loss. Because if we lose the truth, we are bound to repeat the same mistakes. And therefore, we are bound to keep on losing lives. That's why I didn't mention um, lives, in, lives in the first place. Of course, it's a tra tragedy to lose lives. Um, but losing the truth is only going to take us to repeat the same mistakes. So, we need to reshape, retake, reconquer ourselves, I think. And instead of having zero tolerance, how about we have, we develop patience as any exercise and as, as we develop muscle or intelligence through different exercises, how about we develop, redevelop patience? Because that would be the first step to understanding, to comprehension, to dialogue. And then we strengthen that um, patience so that we can bear and tolerate other things because tolerance is important but in this sense in the sense of patience there's a there's a limit where where patience uh, ends and then we go to we have to go to tolerate to tolerance and uh, yeah we may not like what we are hearing um, we may dislike the person in front of us um, but does that give us the right to have zero tolerance and, and just close ourselves to that person, closing um, the window of opportunity, of freedom, of uh, understanding, of just being. I'm very, very concerned with what is happening. I'm trying to do my best. Um, trying to be balanced, trying to recognize my weaknesses, my mistakes, and, and uh, correct them. And what if, instead of having zero tolerance towards, towards others and towards ourselves, what if we changed zero tolerance? For something with a different um, mechanism, a slower mechanism, a secure, a more secure mechanism. What if we change that zero tolerance for a sebensa patience? for a sun strength and tolerance what if what if i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful week and i'll see you here next sunday in blade professor edc out